This is an instructional video on how to measure the rate of proximal progression or RPP following a snake bite. In this video, we will briefly explain what is RPP and demonstrate the steps taken to measure it. RPP is one of the parameters we use to monitor local envenomy. Tissue injury spread from distal to proximal due to the lymphatic spread in which the venom travels. The enzymes in snake venoms will promote the release of inflammatory mediators leading to edema, blistering and also necrosis. You will need a tape to mark the areas of swelling, a ruler, and a marker pen. This is a snake bite chart which can be found in the Malaysian CPG for management of snake bite. As you can see in this chart, there's an area where you can put the RPP that you have measured. I'll explain the steps on um, marking the uh, progression of the swelling. First, uh, before you mark the area, you need to um, assess the hand and determine the border of the the proximal border of uh, the swelling. Another way to determine the border is by using ultrasound. Place the probe and scan along the affected limb. The areas affected will have a cobblestone appearance as seen here. This may help you determine the border more accurately. And then uh, once you determine the border, you use a micropore to mark the area, lah, the proximal margin or the edema. For example, uh, you can see that uh, the border of the uh, swelling is around the wrist. So you put your first uh, mark micropore there and then mark it at, as an onset of symptom, say uh, 8 a.m. And then from there, uh, you reassess back after 4 hours. If there is a, a progressive spread of the swelling, you locate the upper border and then you put another micropore. And then put uh, the time which is 4 hours later. In this case, it's at 12 noon. And then measure the distance between the two micropore tape uh, from the upper border of the first micropore to the upper border of the second micropore. So this marks the progression over 4 hours. The RPP is determined when you divide it by 4 hours, so that will be um, say 1 cm per hour. That will be your RPP. That marks the end of our video. Uh, thank you to everyone. We hope that this video will be beneficial to all of you.